And our topic for the assessment is a linear equation. Um, me and my friends are going to do it very seriously, like explaining everything about the linear equation. So I'm going to give you a bit uh, background for the linear equation. My friend Samir is going to give you the concept for the linear equation. And so he is going to give you the examples and the results for the linear equation and my friend Ben is going to give you uh, real life examples for the linear equations how we can implicate it so the background is something like linear equation linear, linear equation algebraic linear algebraic is originated as the study of a linear equation including the solution uh, sol solution for the simultaneous linear equation. Uh, an equation is a linear if no variables is in it is multiplied by itself or any other variables. Uh, thus the equation 3x plus 2y plus z is a linear equation is the three variables equation. Thank you and now Samit is going to continue for that. I'm gonna explain about concept of linear equations. And to solve the linear equations, the unit you have to have two equations. And in this example, I explain. Uh, I use the example of x minus y equals two, and two x plus y equals ten. And this is written as a standard form. And in this equation, it's easier to solve as a standard form than a slope-intercept form. Uh, first, you have to solve these equations. You have to add these equations to find the x variables but because you have to find first one of the variables. And in this case, I, I'll find the x variables and I add these equations and it becomes 3x equals 12. And then you can simplify this equation, uh, this result, and it becomes x equals 4. After you find the x variables, you can plug this number to the equations and uh, you can find the y, y value. In this case, you, x becomes 4, so 4 minus y equals 2, and y equals 2. So the intersect point becomes this answer, x equals 4 and y equals 2. And this procedure can be same, uh, used as same as in the graph. Uh, this, this downward slope one is the y equals minus 2x plus 10, and this upward slope is y equals x minus 2. And this is written as a slope-intercept form is because it's easier to graph with the slope-intercept form. And this is a system of linear equations, so you have to find the red point, not the blue point or black point, because this is a system of linear equations. Thank you. I'd like to talk about the linear equation, uh, linear equation of the results of two variables. First, we can see the normal equation is 2x minus y plus 5 equal to 0. And if we want to work out the equation, and we can firstly convert the equation 1 into an equation 2, which is y equal to x plus 5. Uh, because this is will more easily to calculate and more easily to see. And uh, secondly, if we assume x equal to 1, and we bring the x equal to 1 into the equation 2, we can calculate the y is equal to 7. Uh, actually, in the uh, variable uh, linear equation, uh, every x has a correspond y. So if we uh, show a diagram in, uh, to represent the equation, it should be looks like this one. With the x decreasing, uh, increasing the y is also will follow to increase uh, just uh, in a normal life if we uh, represent x equal to uh, represent x to the sales products and the y will represent revenue uh, it will more reasonable for this diagram so with the more the product you sold and then the more revenue you will get more high Many economic relationships can be approximated by linear equations and others can be converted to linear relationships. Um, so the analysis 
um, of many economic models reduces to the study of systems of linear equation. Uh, here I'm going to talk about implications in real life. Mm, linear model of production. Here is one example. Mm, in the meat markets, here are two kinds of bundles. Mm, I was trying to purchase duck and chickens. Mm, the first bundle is the total price of three chickens and uh, two ducks is $27. And the second bundle is the uh, total price of the four, uh, four chickens and the three ducks is equals to uh, $38. Um, just ignore the tax and the other, um, other aspects. I don't care about that. Um, so, um, we want to find out the, uh, the single price of ducks. And uh, we have uh, $20. How many ducks can we buy? So just, uh, um, we can use an uh, equation here. 3C three, three, three plus 2D equals seven, uh, 27. 4C plus 3D equals $58. Oh, no, 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 3D. Um, uh, so just to solve the equation, uh, reverse the number one to, the, to here. So we can solve the D equals six and uh, C equals five. So we have $20. How many ducks can we purchase? Uh, we know the duck is uh, $6 each. So 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 divided by six is nearly three. So this is what we get. 